hair so I wanted to come to you today with like an all purpley pink makeup look I just been wanting to do a purple pink makeup look and I was like you know what let's play with some glitter today let's go all out let's do it so here we are so I'm really excited to show you guys this look I've only done one other cut crease in my life and it turned out disastrous so I just trying to learn from that experience and do different things than I did last time and I think it turned out really great so if you want to see how I got this look keep watching okay you guys so here we are it's ready to get started um I don't actually know what I'm doing like and I have like an idea in my head what I want I've never done it before so we'll see we'll see what happens I want to take my Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent I'm just gonna take my dry beauty blender and let's put this under my eyes because I am going to be I know I want to do like pink everything I kind of want to do like a pink cut crease so I've already primed my eyes with my 24 hour extend eye base by Mac y'all know that is my favorite I'm going to be using two palettes today I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's beauty killer palette and then I'm also going to be using Morphe's 35c palette so let's just start in with this Jeffree Star I'm gonna go back and forth between these two palettes so that's why I just wanted to tell you guys right away let's go into China white and I'm just taking my Sephora pro small shadow brush and I want to just put this on my brow bone you guys know this is how I like to start all of my makeup looks no matter what I'm doing I'm just gonna jump right into this palette and I'm taking my Morphe E18 brush and it's like this little pencil brush and I want to go in to this it's like a purple pink mauve kind of color and I want to start carving out where I want my cut crease to be so I have super hooded eyes so cut creases are definitely a lot more challenging to do if you have hooded eyes but we're gonna we're gonna make it work so it doesn't matter I think where cut creases start looking weird on people with hooded eyes is when you try to start it up like way high so when your eyes are open you can see it really good but it looks strange. I know I've I made that mistake the first time I did it it was kind of like weird. So this time I'm starting it a little lower. You can see where my normal crease is of my eye. I'm just doing it just barely above that. Okay, so now I have that on. It looks really crazy. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M433 brush, which is just like a super fluffy brush, and I just want to start blending this out. Okay, so now as you can see, I have blended out this side, and this side is not blended out, so you can see like a huge difference. Okay, so now once I'm happy with my fade, so let's just go in to this color next to it. So I just used this color, now I'm going to go into this color, and this one's just like a deeper version of that, and we're just going to go right over the crease again. So I want to try to make the crease area dark where the cutoff's going to be. Once I have that going, I just want to blend it out a little more. So I'm just taking that blendy brush again and let's start blending that out. And I'm just going back in and I just continue to keep darkening it up. Because once I um, do the cut crease, I don't want to have to work on the crease area anymore. I want that completely done before I start blocking off where, like, my lid area. So now I'm pretty happy with how that is looking. I think I want to highlight my brow bone just a little bit. I'm just going to take, like, a little flat packing brush, and I'm going to go into that Beauty Killer palette, and I'm going to go into Princess. I think I just want to highlight just a little bit. So now I want to start cutting off where my crease area is going to be. So I'm just going to take this little e.l.f. concealer brush. It's just a little tiny flat brush. And I'm going to take a concealer. And the concealer I'm going to be using is my Studio Fix Concealer. And this is just in NW20. Obviously you would use whatever concealer matches your skin. This is a little bit lighter than my skin. 
I want to start blocking off, so I'm only going to be working on one eye at a time. And I'm not going to be able to open my eye from here on out. If I'm talking to you and my eyes are closed, that's why. So I'm just putting a little bit of concealer so I can start working with it. And I'm going to start cutting out where I want my crease to be. So as you can see, I'm just slowly carving out my crease. And I'm just slowly, slowly moving up. Okay, now that I have the shape that I want, I'm keeping my eyes closed because I don't want to mess up anything. I think I'm just going to go into Princess again and press that on to my lid area that I just cut out. now I can open my eyes so there we go now I want to do the same thing that I did on this side on the other side and I think that's what the hardest part is is like making it even just take your time go slow um I just follow my natural eye socket and I'm gonna start putting princess on now so I have that on, hopefully it is even. It looks pretty even to me. So now I'm just gonna remove this powder stuff off my face. So let's start working on the bottom. I just wanna take the colors I used on the crease and go under my eye with it. Go into this first color we used and start bringing that under my lid. So now that we have this going on, I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick as eyeliner. I'm just going to be taking Doll Parts by Jeffree Star. And like always, I'm putting some on my hand right here. And then I'm just going to take a little pointer brush. And I'm just going to be taking my craft brush from Joann's that I always like to use. And now I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to start drawing on my eyeliner. And I do want to end up winging this out. Now I want to start winging it out. Okay, so now I'm happy with how I have it winged out. I want to add some glitter. For my glitter, I'm going to be taking my NYX face and body glitter. So this is what the glitter looks like. And I'm just going to take my MAC pink glitter. And I want to mix these two together in like a little container. So here is what the glitter mixture I just made looks like. Now I'm just going to take my Too Faced glitter glue. I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. And I'm going to want to put the glitter just in my inner corner. So I'm just taking the glitter glue and I'm just sticking it, pushing it onto my tear duct. So I'm gonna do a couple layers of that, patting it. I'm not rubbing. Hopefully that is sticky now. So now I'm just gonna take a little tiny brush, go into the glitter, and I'm going to try to pat this on to where we put that glitter glue. Obviously you wanna be careful. You don't wanna get it in your eye because it will probably hurt your eyes. I'm just putting a little bit. Well, actually I'm kind of putting a lot. This mixture of glitters is like super pretty. There we go. I'm just gonna take a brush and try to wipe off any extra glitter. So since everything is basically pink for this tutorial I want to use peach goddess because it's like a pinker highlight and I want to highlight my face and I'm just using my morphe m510 brush now I just want to put on some mascara and we're gonna throw some eyelashes on as well I'm using urban decay's perversion mascara and I'm putting a thick layer on the bottom and now I want to start on my lips so I want my lips to match so what I'm going to do is I'm taking Jeffree Star's doll parts once again and I'm gonna put this on my lips I just want to let it dry. So I'm just going to be using my, my favorite, I kiss a one lashes and I do a lash glue. So as you can see, it looks a lot better now that the lashes are on. I want to take that glitter glue once again. I want to go in to a little brush and I just want to put glitter glue on the top of my lip like where my lipstick line is i've just put the glitter just on the top of my lip and now i want to get my glitter glue again with my finger i'm just pressing it onto the top of my lip because i want glitter lips so i don't want my whole lip to be a glitter lip i'm just going to be using my makeup forever fix and mist too and we are done yay And 
that's it you guys I'm all done I hope you liked it I think this is super fun it is definitely out there I really like kind of like wild crazy makeup hopefully you like this tutorial remember to thumbs up and like this video it really helps me out make sure you are subscribed if you are not already and feel free to leave me any suggestions below in a comment and let me know if there's something you guys want to see I love trying completely different looks like that's kind of my goal out of all my videos I want each video to be like a hundred percent different look than the last video I posted remember that you can follow me all over social media I am on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, all at MSYX Makeup, so feel free to follow me everywhere, and I can't wait to see you guys next time.